Well, I finally did it guys. After about two months of travel, 7,000 kilometers on the road, I finally made it to Cape Reinga, the tip of New Zealand. I don't know if you can see that, but that is my road trip today. I've got one big journey ahead of me. I'm heading up all the way up to the tip of New Zealand to Cape Reinga. I'm hoping to get the sunrise and sunset up there. Um, but I'm going to be checking out a few beaches and sand dunes along the way. So let's hit the road guys. Woo! How blue is this water? This is such a nice beach. Wow. I'm so devastated I can't fly my drone because at the moment I'm actually getting it fixed in Auckland. But, ah, sort of in an epic drone shot here. And on the other side of the island, there's more beautiful secluded beaches. Holy dear. So I've made it to the sand dunes. This is an awesome spot if you want to go sandboarding. Um, it costs $15 to rent or just to get a board for a day. But I'm not going to do it today because I've done it plenty of times back in Australia and I don't feel like paying 15 bucks. But it looks pretty epic. And I'm going to make my way all the way up to the top now. Sandboard down, but I can sure run down the sand dunes. <laughs> that was a quick way to get down. Well, I finally did it guys. After about two months of travel, 
7,000 kilometers on the road. I finally made it to Cape Reinga, the tip of New Zealand. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yes, what an achievement. Alright, didn't quite get the best sunset this morning, but it was still alright. Um, after I left too, it just started pouring down rain, so I'm glad I left um, when I did. And I finally picked up my first hitchhiker. I just dropped him off to a town around this area. Um, but right now, I'm near a beach. Got the name of it already. Um, but I'm starving, so I'm just cooking up some brekkie. And then, after this, I'm heading to an area called Bay of Islands. So this area is really popular because uh, you can do a lot of really nice cruises to all the islands around there, but I don't think I'll be doing that because it just costs a little bit too much. Um, and yeah, hopefully, I've got a few people on the go at the moment to buy my car. So hopefully I'll be back in Auckland in a couple more days to sell my car. All right, so not far from that beach, there's a lake called Coca-Cola Lake. A few people have recommended it to me. Um, so in the name, apparently, it looks like coca-cola and this is it here yeah not the most exciting lake just looks like a normal brown lake to me <laughs> so there you go coca-cola lake everybody so i don't think there's too much else to do around this area so it looks like bay of islands here we come Woo! Well, finally made it to the Bay of Islands.
Well, there you have it, guys. That's some of the many things you can do up in Northland, New Zealand. Um, so you've got giant sand dunes, beautiful beaches, plenty of waterfalls, Cape Reinga, Bay of Islands, and so, so much more. So if you're up in Northland, you got plenty of time on your hand, then definitely check all these out. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video anyways. And I'm just gonna chill back, relax on this beautiful beach. So, skate your comfort zone, follow your dreams guys, and I'll be seeing you on another adventure. Woo!